stop. Don't start foreskin gaming. Come on, dude. What the fuck? I gotta wake up, eat my yummy little breakfast treat, and then immediately we're jumping into foreskin gaming. I'm gonna fucking cry. Good morning. Oh. It's early for you. It's 1 p.m. for me. Get with the program. I'm working on it, Buster. I'm working on it. Jeez. So rude. Just finished breakfast off after getting off of work. Fair, fair, valid. Oh, I thought we'd do a little Fortnite breakfast stream. See how I'm feeling today. Think I still have a throat tickle. Um, it might get better. It might get worse. We'll see. Your facial hair grows fast. I know. It's already back. We got some of the schmutz back. I'm going to get more of the schmutz later. God wants me to have a beard, and I don't want to have a beard. We have a little bit of a problem with that. I don't want to have a beard. I don't want to have facial hair. But, uh... Chemicals in my body make it so that it want me to have facial hair, and I don't want to have it, so... That's the way that it do be is be. Do a biker mustache? I can't grow a mustache. I can't do it. I've tried to grow a mustache before and they just don't work out that way. They don't. I wish it worked out that way, but it don't work out that way. Because, like, if I try to grow a mustache right here, it just looks awful. So my facial hair is brown. I think that means you're healthy. I'm healthy. Ready to get Cerveza Crystal yet? Yeah. Cerveza Crystal. really healthy guy over here until I start coughing in like five minutes. I'm still sick. I don't know why I keep trying to stream instead of, uh, every time I'm sick, I'm like, you know what? I should stream. And then it's like, why am I streaming? I'm sick, but we'll see. I wanted to play Fortnite and I was like, I might as well have an excuse to do it. Uh, oh, I don't even have the game up. I took an allergy pill. We'll see if that helps out, but I got an illness. We'll see if it gets better. We'll see if it gets worse. I thought it was just a uh, tonsil stone. It wasn't a tonsil stone, so my throat just hurt. But I got sleep. Uh, I got fluids. And I got Fortnite, so... What else do you need? Am I right? I got fluids. I got sleep. I got Fortnite. Tonsil stones suck. Yeah. Sometimes when I get a tickle at the back of my throat, I, I I legitimately can't tell if it's a tonsil stone or if it's a if I'm thickness with the sickness. Lost into the void. Imagine Brendan getting iced with Cerveza Crystal commercial. Yeah, imagine somebody smearing off icing me with the Cerveza Crystal. I don't even know what. How would somebody even do that? Like, I, I, icing is a I what? I mean, I guess if somebody put it in like a movie that like a bunch of people were viewing, I can understand how that worked. But like otherwise, I'm like, what? Sorry, I'm trying to parse that knowledge and information. Oh, editing a video? Yeah, watching an edited video and then Cerveza Crystal pops up, but it's also like, hey, Brendan, drink a Smirnoff Ice. I thought Ice meant getting killed. No, I, I, icing somebody means you inflict them with a Smirnoff Ice. Ice. Icing somebody is the process of like, you just got iced, and then it's because somebody hit a Smirnoff Ice, and you have to drink it. It's like a party thing. You ever just want to take a bunch of tonsil stones and spread? I don't know, chat member. That's kind of a messed up question you asked there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, chat member. That's kind of a mess. I don't know, chat member. That's kind of. I don't know, chat member. That's kind of a. I don't know, chat member. That's kind of a messed up question you asked there. Uh, I don't know. But I mean, hey, I did get my tooth reinstalled. So yesterday, yesterday, I think I can't tell if I'm getting sick or if I swallowed some of the cement for my tooth because they were working on it. So it might just be a little bit of gunk at the back here, but it might also just be sickness. So. I got my tooth reinstalled, though, you can see. They reinstalled my molar. They got the... Ah. Uh -uh. They put it back in.
There's a cold going around the U.S.? I, it's probably. I took an allergy pill. It's probably just a minor sickness. Hearing a lot of YouTubers get that these days. So, but, um, da, it's probably a, just a small, a small sick. Um, I don't think it's anything to super worry about. We'll see. I'm not in, like, the thick of it yet, though, so... I don't know if this is going to go away, or if it's going to get worse, or if it's going to be better, or if it's going to be a better, better, better butter, a butter, better, better. You know, we, we don't, we don't real, we don't understand yet. We don't know. Oh, what are we, what are we, who are, what are we, who are, what are we, who are. Um, I'm doing a little bit of dubious goofing, don't mind me. Oh, what do we rare? What do we rare? I'm gonna turn shadows off. Game just gets a little bit wacky sometimes. I don't know why. Is this spring in Iowa? It was really nice. I had a nice walk yesterday. I found three pennies. Well, my walk is pretty cool. Check them out. Three whole pennies. Pretty awesome. It's better than ad revenue. <laughs> Walking away, yeah, I love walking away from, um, I love walking away from a walk with a, with a net positive, but it's nice out now, it's nice, you know, the weather's getting a little bit better, um, even if I feel a little under the weather, the weather's getting nicer, pretty cool, you wait for the festival marathon stream, I'm not ever touching festival, no, you can't make me, I don't give a shit about that, Muzak, I don't fucking listen to that shit, what do you want me to do, fucking play Lady Goo Goo, I, I'm playing Lady Goo Goo, Don't spend those three pennies all in one place, Brendan. I won't. I'm gonna go down to the candy store and buy me a couple of candies. Ooh, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Three whole pennies, sir. What a tuppence. What a tuppence, sir. What a wonderful tuppence. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to spend this tuppence all the way at the candy store and give me some nice fat stack of candy. Got a lost dog today. Got that boy back home and everything. Cool. I wish I had cool experiences when I go outside, but it's either nothing or hell. Or Princess Leia. Hello, Princess Leia. Goodbye, Princess Leia. Nice to see you. Great to see you. Great to see you, Princess Leia. That's Siri from Smunch. I'm dead. Should have been able to hit better, but I didn't hit better. A bit of batter butter makes a butter batter bitter. Woo. There's good music in Festival, finally. Feel it still in Heartbreaker especially. I just don't care about rhythm games. I never really grew up with them that much. I mean, I grew up around them. I just... With the guitar and the the, the the drums and the music, I'm just it's it's never really popped with me, right? Never been really particular, never been really popular with me. A lot of people like festival or Lego or rocket racing, and it's like I don't know, I don't care. There's Buddy Holly. What else do you want? I don't want anything. I know, I'm not gonna play festival. Somebody else can play festival mode. Enjoy your festival. If you enjoy your yummy little festival, have yourself a big fat dinner of guitar. Have yourself a wide. Uh, Dinner of, of strength. Um, I'm me personally. I, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Not gonna fucking try to destroy you over it. Uh, but literally anybody else. I, I, I. Yeah. I just. I'm not a festival head. I'm sorry. Are you gonna buy Sandstorm for BR? No, because I have licensed music off. So it does. Doesn't matter. I don't play Fortnite that much outside of like streaming it. So I, I like. There's no reason for me to care about any of the songs. So I don't. I don't. I don't go spend money on that. I'm not worried about that. I'm not wubby, bubby. Not a lot of chat engagement when he's focusing on the button prompts. I mean, yeah, also like a festival stream for me who's not like good at rhythm games. I, I just don't see, I don't see the appeal of it for me. If I'm going to stream it, like no. If I'm going to play it, no, I don't really care. Unless they add like an artist I really care about, which is unlikely, because they're not going to add like Tally Hall or Anamanaguchi or Neil Ciceriga to like the festival pass. There's no point to it. For me, at least. Uh, but I mean, a lot of people like it. They, they, they enjoy it. They're excited about the guitar accessories. I'm not, uh... I'm not really about that life. You attempted to get Korra? I mean, he, I, maybe. I don't really care. It's just going to be quests. With the, with the bonus skins like that, it's just going to be quests that I'm probably going to do anyway. I'll get Korra, I'll archive her, and I'll probably never use her. Not a Korra head. Not an Avatar head. Yo, Tally Hall enjoyer? Yo, do you hear the flippity jibbity jibba jabba with it? Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. I have another word to tell, another story to tell, another time piece ringing the bell. Do you hear the clock stopping and reach the end? No, you know, it's me never in comprehend if you can. But if you try to pretend to understand, you resemble a fool, but then you're only a man, so give it up and smile. 
Tally Hall enjoyer. Me when I, then when I. Yeah. This is true. Give this chat member a true. Hand it over. Oh, why do I pick up a billion of the same gun? Um, Drop that. Grab that one. Switch that one. Swap that one. Keep that. There we go. I need that Pompey. I need that Pump Dumper. Alright, I gotta remember how to fucking... I gotta readjust my shit here so I can see the screen. My local anime con last year, they had a DDR machine or Stem Mania with Megalovania, and this guy went on hard mode, and it was fascinating how fast he moved. Yeah, rhythm, rhythm games have always been outside of my purview. Uh, a lot of my a lot of my gaming experience is like, can I shoot the gun? Yes. Can I shoot the gun good? Probably not, but like, I can shoot the gun at least. Probably not going to be good at shooting the gun, but I can definitely shoot the gun. I, I can shoot the gun, then I can jab my lips. I can jab my jaw. That's about it. Hi, Rendell. Hi, Ezer. How are you? doing good. We're doing good. We're doing epic. We're doing awesome. We're doing epic. We're doing awesome even. We're doing epic even. We're doing awesome even. We're doing epic even. We're doing awesome. We're doing epic. We're doing great. When are they going to have a, an NPC sell you an actual car here? Waiting for it. Add a little guy here. You got to pay for a car now, idiot. You got to pay real money for it. Are quick time events just rhythm games? No. Quick, uh, quick time events are button uh, prompts. Rhythm games are button prompts, but to like the sound of Muzak. I wouldn't call- I wouldn't call QTEs that. It's more about to the sound of violence. Brennan, tell me what I do. Do I do more artwork or do I build Legos? Mmm, Legos. It depends. Do you want to do artwork for fun or do you want to do Legos for fun? If you want to do both for fun, either are a good choice. But if you want to do art for money and you want to do Legos for fun, I say do the Legos. That's why I'm playing Fortnite while I'm ill. Don't mine at night. There's a dog in the yard. He has a real human face. We should run away from him and his real human face. That is Ghost Rider, and I'm gonna shoot him well. Yeah. Then I will die to the next person who see me. Damn. There's a human face. Okay, but you play video games as a career? No, no, no. It's not about to play video games. It's not about the video games. It's about the finding new ways to interact with people in an online entertainment space. There's a human with a face. That dog has stolen his face. Then I fight that dog. I get that face. <laughs> Play video games as a career. God, I wish. I wish I was one of those. An e-athlete? I'm not an e-athlete. I, I being a, being an internet comedian with video games as the background is one of the funniest things in the world to me because imagine somebody trying to do that in the same space that like sports are done where it's like okay so uh, I e right I I say poo poo dumb fuck words while I play videos games that's like the point the gameplay isn't really the point the point is 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 the dumb poo poo words that I say depending on the game that may change right. Somebody who is a, an esports gamer is like they're really good at the video game they're very very good at it. Uh, and that's like the point of why you watch them, right? Same as like somebody who's really good at the football, right? You watch the esports for epic plays and somebody who's really good uh, at the thing so that you can enjoy them. Same with football where you watch it so you can watch somebody who's really good or bad or whatever uh, do them. Now imagine a stand-up comedian trying to play football while also trying to tell jokes. Is there a video game you think you're really good at? No, I don't worry about that kind of shit. Uh, I, time's too short to worry about whether or not you're good at something. All it'll do is deal mental damage. I'm not really good at anything. Uh, I'm, I'm good at saying words without meaning anything. Uh, I don't really worry about the uh, the greater whole of being good at something. Right. Fortnite. Good night. Nice name, dude. Props to you. But yeah, I don't really worry about being good at it. Uh, if I if I was good at one thing, um. I don't even. I, I. I don't worry about that. I don't want to build myself up too high. I'm gonna be the Tower of Babel, but real, which means I'm going to be ha tall and towering, and I'm gonna fall over and then spill my bricks all over the sand. To be fair, I can't watch. I can't stand watching you play games I don't like. Yeah, I mean, but the, like that's not the point. The point isn't the gameplay. The the point isn't ever the game. The point is the how do I use this as a narrative device to tell stories and tell jokes. 
Brent, what do you think about the season this far? I finally got my first win. It was in duos. I haven't got a solo win yet, which is the point of today. I wanted to play it and have some fun. Um, I want to see if I could get a solo win. If I can, I can't. Whatever. But I mean, yeah, um, when it comes to, I don't know, streaming, I view it as like using the, the game doesn't really exist for any other reason than to, uh, like as a, as an interface to tell jokes within. Not real. You're not real. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. It's not real. You're not a real. I don't even watch you play the game. I just have your voice in the background while I manage to catch a stream. I mean, yeah, that's that's the way that a lot of people experience things. So I don't worry about the video game. I worry about the... Uh, the only video game where I worry about actually playing the game are my selfish games, which is like a dragon right now. That's the only one where I genuinely care about the game. Everything else is just, uh, it's just setting. It's set dressing. That's it. Uh, there are people who utilize the games to their potential. They use the game for bits and stuff, and I do that too. Uh, but a lot of the time, uh, the game is just a set dressing to what I can do. Damn, can't hit shit, apparently. That person's real, by the way. Nah, uh, they're not real. They hit me once. I don't know if they were real. Not used to this DMR still. But yeah, so far the season's good. I'd still say I, w I would like, um... Maybe someday the, uh, uh... The pump, the frenzy... Auto shotgun doesn't really need to be in the game. I've died to it way too many times. I do not think it still needs to be in the videos game. But uh, this is fine, I guess. I'm just complaining. I'm just being a whiner. Whining, 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 whining. Whining and winding down. It's not worried about it, though. A, lo a lot of the time when it comes to their game, I don't worry about it. How many bits to get you to release Mindprov? Those are, those are gone. Those are gone forever. I'm sorry. Um, there's no, like, backup hard drive with, like, the old Mindprov episodes on it. There's no archive of them. They're gone. Like, they are, they are, they are. There's a lot of content where it's, like, part of me wishes I'd kept it. Um, but, like, when I rebranded fully, I was, like, uh, years and years and years ago, I was, like, I do not need any of this. I will not need any of this. I do not want there to be a record of this. Not for any, like, nasty, nefarious, or malicious reasons, but mostly out of, like, a sheer, I do not need this. I do not care. I'm gonna die. Ah, shit, son of a bitch. Fucking penis. It fine, it fine. We get a little worse so we can get a little better. Brendan is our Tower of Babel. Yeah, they got a lot of books in there. Me when I'm a babbling brook. Oh, well, my name is Brendan. Oi. Brendan said gamer words. I didn't say gamer words. I, I got rid of a lot of old videos back then because I didn't want um, to be associated with that like name or that brand, I guess, that I had. It was not good. Is the Chippo Man video still up? I mean, mine prop is like before Brendan Daniel, so. Mine prop is like pre Brendan Daniel. Chippo Man is probably still up. Any videos on the main channel that get removed are because YouTube wants me to remove them. Otherwise, I just leave them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, back in the day, like when I read like bad fan fiction and stuff, and when I when I cared about um, stuff like that, a lot of those videos were removed. Uh, um, and like, I get every once in a while, I get like a message about an age restriction, and I just leave them up as I can. But otherwise, like, you can't you can't fuck with the rules because the rules are constantly and always changing, and they're never the same, and they're always changing. So you got to change or die. And I try to change, um, as best I can. I'm not very good at it, but I try. <laughs> I try to adhere to the meta of the internet universe when it comes to making stupid shit. And I'm like, you know what? I try. Give it give it a fat attempt. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Also, I feel like my voice is going to crack a couple of times during this stream, so you're kind of watching a... a, a <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to come away. Wouldn't it be funny if I came away from the sickness that I have with a deeper voice? That's fucking hell. I'm curious if you ever read my fanfiction. Were you still doing bad fanfic in 2016? Yeah, that's about when I stopped doing it, though. Because there was the, uh, the adpocalypse then. 
but also I don't know. Or a higher voice? No, no. If I if I fuck up my throat, it's not gonna get higher. It's gonna get lower. I'm gonna be coming on stream like <laughs> barely perceptible, Brendan. It's insane that YouTube makes some new rules and retroactively says "fuck you" to years older videos. Yeah, they don't grandfather anything in. That's just part of the uh, that's part of the experience, right? Uh, that's part of the, the 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 way the world works, dude. Like I I will acquiesce. I have no control. Like I I can be mad about it or I can like deal with it and then try to move on with my life. And yeah, sure, being mad about how like shit changes is uh is like a fair point I think when it comes to like a digital hell system like YouTube. But also at the same time, I don't I don't really mind it. It's like whatever, I'll work on it. I'll just be better, do better, whatever. I'll work on it. I mean, it's my livelihood, right? So, like, I gotta care about it in some aspect, but also, like, I, I'm not gonna put the energy forward to a system that doesn't care. The glider was burning this guy's dick? Yeah. It happens. Oh, good, a gold pump. I always want a pump, but somehow worse still? Would rather have a, would rather have a, a, a white frenzy rather than a gold pump. So worthless. Machine that hates. Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, you know, working for the machine that hates. And I've learned a lot about SEO lately, and I've learned a lot about thumbnails. Ah, oh, I'm dead. That guy was a real guy. This is bad. That's fine. They're gonna put me in the baby lobby soon. Or your septum undeviates, and you suddenly sound a lot higher. I mean, if my septum undeviated, it wouldn't sound higher. My septum wouldn't undeviate so that I could sound higher. My septum would undeviate and then I would be able to breathe properly. I... But I mean, yeah, a lot of stuff I do in the second channel is so I can figure out like a long term uh, what I want to do with the main channel. And it's like working on script writing for stuff, working on ideas, uh, is good, but also, uh, second channel stuff gives me a, a good idea to, like, remember how to edit. Uh, but also so I can figure out what the, what the deal is with SEO and what the deal is with, like, YouTube. It's really interesting. The, the second channel is a very long Brendan experience, uh, experiment where I want to see what uh, the machine cares about and what the machine will push. Uh, but at the same time, I want to make sure that I just edit stream highlights in a way that people will want to watch. And I like doing it. I have a lot of fun with it. I got a surgery in 2019 to correct my deviated septum. It was causing constant ear infections because my sinuses were just always blocked. I just have like a, if I'm ever like nasally or sniffly, uh, it's just because my nose is all kind of fucked up. Sometimes I take an allergy pill, like that right there. Sometimes take an allergy pill just to fix it a little bit, but not all the time because they make me a little loopy. Sword eat online. Me when I'm hungry and I have to hit them with my fucking sword. But the enemy keeps fucking eating it. This is bullshit. Oh, I need a big sword. Oh. If you eat in the game, you eat in real life. Oh my god, they put the tube in my mouth so that all of the slime that I'm eating in my slime game is is going into my fucking tummy. Now I got a belly full of slime and a brain full of empty. I love having a belly full of slime and a brain full of empty. That's me every day. They saying that shit about my life. Why's that doctor got so much drunk dead junk in the trunk? He do got a bit of a plump dumper while the fire rages on his pinor, huh? Why they gotta do that to him? Why they gotta burn his peanut or like that? Why the big skull have to do that to me? Why does big skull hate like this? Would you prefer a brain full of belly and a slime full of empty? No way. No way. Brain full of empty, belly full of slime. Go to the local chug drug store to get the most disgusting fucking dubious lick. I'm being delightfully devilish, Seymour. Where the fuck is this guy at? Are they up there? You're not real. Oh, the candy! Oh, boy! But it's not slime. You're playing a p porn VR game. No, it's slime. I'm playing Slime Rancher 2 and I'm eating all the plorps, whatever they're called. I'm plorping out, dude. I'm fully plorpular with it. Getting insanely plorpular. No nothing can stop me. Nothing will end me. 
Fortnite released actual chug jugs, those that sell out faster than Prime. True. What if you could drink Slurp? I am surprised there's no, like, Fortnite feastables or whatever. Never had a Mr. Beast uh, yeastable. Don't even know if they're good. I, I kind of don't want to try. Not even out of sheer curiosity. I, I just... I'm sorry, Mr. Beast. I don't want to eat your fucking funny candy bar that you're like, dude, what if we made him less bad? Are they good? Anybody else have a have a feastable? How, how was your feastable experience? It blows? Aw, oh, damn. Mr. Yeast. Why would a product from Mr. Yeast be bad, though? He's, he makes the candy, and then he's like, It's me, Willis Wonka. Mr. Beast has to have a hard drive somewhere with a bunch of blueberry inflation pics of him. It's gotta be insane. That's horrible. That's a horrible thought. Imagine unearthing Mr. Beast's secret flash drive with a billion, a billion gigabytes of blueberry inflation pictures. Mr. Beast is like, I want to be big and blue. I'm saving up money so I can be this in real life. I want to be the blueberry. I want to feel the blueberry. It's like, Mr. Beast, please, dude. Why are you so into wanting to be the blueberry, dog? I don't get it. He's like, I need to be the blueberry. You don't understand. I gotta do it. I'm dead. I fucked up. Ah, shit, son of a bitch. Frenzy fucking shotgun every goddamn time. From behind. Last person to leave the circle becomes big and blue and round. Everybody get into the circle. We're rounding this man. Mr. Beast wants to be Wonka, but it's actually the unknown. Halloween this year is going to be really caustic, isn't it? Halloween this year is going to be really funny. I'm thinking about all the people going to Halloween parties that are going to be like... Remember, remember the unknown? Dude, remember the unknown from like that Willy Wonka thing like eight months ago? You remember? It's me. I'm the unknown. And people are going to be like, people are already dressing up as, as, as fart fetishist Barbie, dude. I don't like. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Like people don't even remember about the unknown. It's not even, you're not even, it's not even a good guy. It's just a cheap mask and a, and a, and a cape and then a wig. And like people are already dressing up as fart fetishist Barbie. The meme the meme of August 2024. Sorry, fart what? F I, listen, all I'm saying is August 2024, meme of the month, fart fetishist Barbie. I'm just saying. How do you dress up as fart fetishist Barbie? I don't know. We'll figure it out when August comes around. August is going to come around. I'm going to forget about all of this, but somebody's going to internalize it, and then it's going to happen. August 2024. Is the month of fart fetishist Barbie. I don't know what it is. Maybe she's got a gas mask and the gas mask is attached to like somebody's butthole. And like that's the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. All I'm saying is August 2024, <laughs> fart fetishist Barbie. Mark it on your calendars. That's the meme of the month. I'm striking you down where you stand, Brendan. I'm sitting. Fucking fell for it. I hate you so much. You're just mad if you laughed. The only the only reason you're mad at me is if you laugh. If you laughed at that, that's why you're mad at me. You're only mad because you fell for it. Fucking pictures posted all over the internet. Sick of this dude. Speaking of sending the Bubby attack your headrest, Bubby hasn't been in the basement for like three months. I don't know what you're talking about. That's Beals. I'm mad because I was eating. Um, yeah, you didn't want to think about gurgling bellies while you were filling your own. I understand. I get that. I get that. I get that. There's a content warning on the stream. You press the accept button. You acquiesced. Listen, I don't have, like, a fucking camera on every chat member. I can't know when you're eating your, like, big spaghetti or anything. Just concerned my own chair is gonna fall apart. I like my secret lab chair. The only, like, downside to it, honestly, is that, um, the arms fall apart really easily, so you should get, like, arm boosters for them. Why can't you ever talk about the sexy fetishes? Because the non-sexy ones are really funny. Yeah, put a you know, put up a. I'm gonna have to put up a trigger warning for gurgling bellies. I am so sorry if you have a gurgling belly and you're coming to the stream. I'm so fucking sorry. 
Brennan lives in our own devices and does, in fact, know when we're eating. Yeah, I have an idea. I, I usually save the most vile, potent energies for only when specifically you're eating. Like, I'm going to sit down to the stream, eat my food, have a great time, and then I got to just gurgling bellies pops up, and it's like, goddamn son of a bitch. I, I, my food is ruined. My dinner fucking ruined. My life ruined. My day's over. Yeah, set up a... Setting up a new stream tag. It's going to say gurgling bellies exclusively. Evil Brendan be like, oh, big boobs and ass in a sexual way or something. I don't know, I'm sorry. I've always just found, like, uh, really disgusting hedonistic fetishes very funny. Um, there's something about, like, the, the way that people's brains worm and work that I, that I find very fucking funny. Uh, I, I don't know why either. Like, just something about it. Like, not even the disgusting aspect of it. Like, just the, this is funny. Why do people dubious be into this? I don't know, but I think it's very funny. Uh, the internet has warped and ruined me in a myriad of different ways, and that's one of the... Todoroki? More like Dedoroki. Uh, that's one of the ways that the internet has absolutely fucking ruined me. I just think it's fucking funny. I know it's not funny, too, is the thing. I know for the most part, it's not that funny. It's not. Anybody can say big, beautiful, round uh, human submarines, but, like, something about it is just... It calls to me. It's like the echo of the void. I have to listen. Is pregnancy funny or do you kind of get it? I mean, I get it. I, 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 I guess I get it. Um, like a little bit? Hey, by the way, that was a sick fucking shot. That was also, oh my fucking god. Was that allowed? Was I allowed to do that? I don't... <laughs> 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 mystified by that. I am mystified by that. That was fucking vile. I didn't care if that was two bots. That was fucking awful. That was disgusting. Holy shit. I don't think I'm ever going to do better than that in Fortnite. I genuinely don't think I can do better than that. That was... <laughs> I don't think I was going to pop both of them. I'm sorry. Much like a baby bursts out of the tummy like a little alien creature. I f I'm fucking popping off, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what will really make the bullets fly? Pregnancy. I'm <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesus. Pain, misery, sorrow, suffering. Pain, misery, sorrow, suffering. That's my uh, one good clip for the year. I... I don't need a better I don't need a better gameplay clip than that. That was that was it. That was peak. Can you call them Pokemon Go creatures for all time's sake? Uh, for a second I read that is can you pregnant go to the polls? Oh, you know that my brain is so scrambled from the allergy medicine that I, I legitimately read that is. Can you pregnant go to the polls? It's like if you're pregnant, you vote for to be president. Because you baby, do you get two vote or one vote? Interesting. Even when I think about this. Even when I give the baby a poll. Hi. I miss. See? Gamer energy is already gone. They weren't real. It didn't matter. Well, can you? Hey. Remember this November in America. Remember to pregnant go to the polls. I don't fucking... I don't fucking know. Now, don't you ever forget it. This is the year that we pregnant go to the polls. I mean, to be fair, that is kind of like the theme, right? You can, but the pregnant belly will stick out under the shower curtain thing. Why would I be wearing a shower curtain? God, you're just reminding me that Billy bought the fucking pregnant Dilbert animation cell and will have it forever. I'm thinking about it. Like, fucking every time I'm in a call with Billy or talking to Billy... I'm just reminded that Billy owns and has the pregnant Dilbert cell. I'm like, what do you do with that? What do you do with the pregnant Dilbert cell? Uh, there is an episode of the Dilbert cartoon where Dilbert pregnant. And so my friend Billy owns the animation cell for Dilbert pregnant. 
And every time, I'm just like, why do you own the Dilbert Pregnant Cell? Why don't I own the Dilbert Pregnant Cell? Why didn't I buy the Dilbert Pregnant Cell? He's Dilbert, and he's pregnant. That's it. Not a lot of people do be thinking about Dilbert in the year of our Lord 2024. To be fair, Scott Adams is kind of a dickhead, so I don't blame people. But also, like, Dilbert Pregnant Cell. Meet Dilbert Boy Pregnant. There are many such cases. They should bring it. Yeah, Billy should bring that into Pawn Stars to show it off. That'd be a good bit, I think. Teaming? Wait a minute, were those two fuckers teaming? Oh no, that's- okay, that's- no, that's Aphrodite. I thought the other person was coming in. They're gonna die anyway, not a big deal. For a second I thought there was two fucking people, I forgot the NPCs could be hired. I forgot you could hire the gods this season. Jeez. Well, I got that one clip, that's all I needed. And then I hungry. What do I put in my gurgling belly? I had uh for breakfast. I had one of those little breakfast sandwiches. That was nice. I had a little. I had a little biscuit, uh, sausage, egg, and cheese, uh, breakfast sandwich. That was pretty nice. I like that. Oh my god! The Fortnite. It'd be so fucking funny if the Fortnite servers went down. Let me double check. No, there we go. We're getting into a game. They're trying to decide what to do with me right now. They're trying to figure it out. At lunchtime, though. Oh, fair. Uh, I don't know. Go get, uh, go get curry and some naan bread. I don't know. Go get you a sandwich. Go get you a chicken sandwich with, uh, maybe a little bit of sauce. Maybe a little bit of sauce. Maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of slime. Uh, get you slime. Get you a big barrel of slime. Fill your belly with slime. Yeah. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Pretty cool. What is that, Brendan, I hate you, you've ruined me. Every time I order pizza, I have to stop myself from saying, Oh, I need a big pizza. Yeah, it's a legitimate problem. It's a cognitive hazard, I'm sorry. I'm bringing the brain worms to you, and I'm ruining your life, step by fucking step. But a weird philosophical question, do you think there's comfort in nothing being there after death? Even speaking as a deist, I find oblivion much preferable to hell. I mean, yeah, obviously. Uh, life is a funny little journey, and uh, I enjoy uh, living every moment of it, even the bad parts, in retrospect. Not in the moment, of course, but uh, I learned to appreciate the bad parts as much as the good parts. I mean, you could you could waffle about this for, you know, centuries, and philosophers have waffled about it for years and years and years, but it's one of those things where I don't really worry about it a lot, honestly. I don't try to think too much about it, because the more that you give thoughts to death, the more that your brain has to register and render it. Uh, I didn't kill that guy, so real worries out here. Oh, 
Oh shit, there we go. Dead dude! Every time I hear really or silly, I'm compelled to yell watermelon. <laughs> Me when I have a I, I have a little I have a little like clock on a string and I'm just like I'll say fucking watermelon. Every time things are something's a little goofy, something's a little silly, you're gonna say watermelon. It's gonna happen, you little freak. They're gonna get you. They're gonna put you in the hole, dude. What's the watermelon bit? Oh, I don't know. Are you silly? Really silly? Oh, dude, I don't know. Am I silly? Am I dropping a thermonuclear bomb? I don't know. Am I silly? Am I really silly? Oh, it's a song? Yeah, I don't know anything. I have no knowledge about anything. I am, uh, empty of brain, empty of ass, empty of heart. I am, um, I am a soulless creature built by the void to only deliver you the silliest of takes, so I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing, I don't think nothing, I don't say nothing. Brennan, what do you think? I don't think anything. There is a ceaseless wandering in my brain. It is an empty, soulless void. Uh, and sometimes thoughts permeate throughout it, but otherwise I don't worry about it. Born too early to skibbity, born too late to phantom tax, born just in time for, what is it, Ohio Riz Gyat. I love my funny little buzzwords. Uh, I feel like I feel like we've 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 gone past slang and memes, and now I feel like a lot of it is uh, just like buzzwords, right? It's like it's like a memetic buzzword. I don't think I can call it really slang or anything anymore. I think it's just memetic buzzwords. We've moved beyond that. It's 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 not good enough to be actual slang, and it's also not good enough um to be like its own thing. So it's just it's just memetic buzzwords. If you could only make your own memetic buzzword, what would it be and what would it mean? Smetch Yenma. It'd be like, have you smenched? Have you Yenmud? And I don't want anybody to explain it. I want it to be utter nonsense. Because I thought that's what Phantom Tax was, and then I found out it's just a guy who steals food. Dude. That's it. That's the whole bit. It's a guy who steals food. That's the Phantom Tax, and I was heartbroken to find out it wasn't nonsense. I was so heartbroken when I found out that Phantom Tax was like a real thing and it was just like a streamer bit. Oh, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I didn't pick up nothing. This guy knows. This guy has an idea of what is happening. This guy has knowledge about this world. I don't. Oh, wait, no. Maybe I have knowledge about this world. I have a pistol. It's gonna be me. Wasn't that the guy who showed their peen on stream? No, that was, um, God, what was his name? They had a, there was another streamer. No, Kai Sinet is the guy, I think, who has, like, the Phantom Tax bit. And I think the, the guy before him, um, that was one of the, like, streamers during that period had showed his peen on stream. I can't remember his name, though. Yeah, I show speed. That's who it was, yeah. Oh, shit. Owie, oofy. Oh, fuck you and your frenzy, auto. Poopy and pee-pee. Kai Sinet did the Phantom Tax. Yeah, Phantom Tax is literally... I think he has a... Doesn't he have a streamer house with a guy named Phantom? And that guy breaks down his door and steals his food, and that's the Phantom Tax? That's the bit. Uh, like, it, it's, it's, it's meme buzzwords. Nobody is, nobody is going to know, like, the origin of, of a lot of this shit. Um, 
Gat at least makes sense because it was supposed to be like Gat Damn from Goddamn, which was just a response phrase, and then it turned into just Gat means ass. And then um, uh, Ohio was like, dude, bro, are you from Ohio? And now people just say Ohio. Riz is short for charisma. Skibbity is just because skibbity toilet. And a lot of these words are already in post, post, post irony. All right, to the point where it moves so fast that none of it matters anymore. Just say whatever words you want. Like, just say words. We're in a we're in an era where you just say words. You just say things. Gat was supposed to replace yeah, goddamn, gat damn, and then just gat. Yeah, it's just a shortened version of goddamn, like gat damn to gat. There are too many big streamers. Well, yeah, because it's, um, we're in the midst of the fourth revolution. Um, I talked about this on the last Fortnite stream. We're in the midst of the fourth revolution uh, when it comes to streamers. You, you had your, your progenitors, your, your second phase. Um, no, maybe fifth. We had the third phase and the fourth phase. Now we're in, I think, the fifth phase because the fourth phase was Minecraft YouTubers in 2020. I think that's the fourth phase. I think we're in the fifth phase right now of uh, internet content creation, which is very similar to the second phase. The The second phase was like your your PewDiePie, your Markiplier, your Jacksepticeye. And now instead of it being like face cam scary game, it's like hyper specific bits of guys who have the one gimmick and that's their gimmick. I think that's that's the that's the phase we're in right now is we're in phase we're in phase five. Remember, what would your second phase be if you were a boss? All the blood would come out of my body, and it would turn into liquid form, and you'd have to fight my blood. Have resistance to bludgeoning damage. Also, does share the loud equals funny. Oh, yeah, no, the, the fifth phase is very reminiscent of the second phase in the way that it is loud equals funny. Uh, which I think, I, I, I think, I think it's fair. Like, loud can be funny. I, I don't think you should... Like, limit yourself in the way that you uh, do internet comedy or e-comedy. I think Loud has the possibility to be funny within the right context. Um, but also, like, in, in general, when it comes to it, I, I I think overall it's just funny anyway. I think it, I, it's, I mean, not in general, like, Loud is funny, but I do think it's funny that, like, the, um, the phases come and go this way the way they do. Right? i.e. you have your big streamers and they each have a gimmick and the the three that i know about are like your jinxy your sketch your queso queso's is his chat calls him fat jinxy's is he makes funny little faces and like makes loud noises and uh, that's it um sketch is uh, i he plays a character of a very specific kind of person that does exist And that, that kind of gimmick and the way that that gimmick translates, those gimmicks translate over into short form content is the reason they are as popular as they are, even if you've never heard of them. I don't know any of these names and I feel stronger for it. That's just, I, I, I keep up with this shit because, you know, I'm a, I'm a stream guy, but also I just like to know about what um, the big thing is. Not to do it because I don't give a shit, but to know, like have the knowledge of it. What is that? Uh, I want to see more streamers that are horrible fused meat monsters. The thing but with cat ear headphones. Mix a couple of big streamers just to see what happens. Yeah, they just take every big streamer and just like put them all together into one big flesh katamari. See what happens. See what's up. Um, the other big streamers that people are forgetting about with the fifth phase too, though, are people like um, Pirate Software is a big one for this phase. For uh, this this fifth phase of streamers isn't just um, it, it's not just like your your kids streamers like queso jinxie and sketch or your teenager streamers like those guys it's also like your adult streamers 
Um, no, Vine Sauce isn't part of the fifth phase. Vine Sauce is part of, like, the fourth or third phase, I'd say. Vine, Vine Sauce and Germ are very much fourth and third phase. Because I think, uh, especially with, like, Vine Sauce, Joel, and Vinny, they've both kept their audience at about the same level as they were, as they are now. Uh, and I'd say that's third phase. We're talking, fifth phase is we're talking, like, 50 to 100,000 people watching them. What phase are you a part of? Uh, second or third phase? I am uh, I am lost in the void. I'm part of the dead generation. Um, between the third and the fourth phase, that's where I am. If if I was if I was to put uh, myself in any of these, I would say I'm part of I'm I'm part of the lost generation. Like at some point, I probably should have quit, but I keep doing stuff because I like doing stuff. So. I, I would say it's way more apropos to not lump me together with anybody. I'm, I'm part of the, the, the failed experiment generation. I like hearing about streamer phases like it's some sort of Marvel marketing ploy. I mean, phases, uh, generations, what have you. Um, there's always a cycle. Yeah, I started making stuff when people could just get popular enough through YouTube, and I had a couple of bangers, and then, like, um, I just decided to stop. I, <laughs> I decided to stop doing part of what I was doing, and then I, I just like to move and change and shift and see what's up. But, I mean, yeah, you look at, um, you look at first gen, your progenitors, right? You have your... Oh, like Retsu Play, Retsu Prey. You have like the early adopters, the OGs, people who would like stream Let's Plays uh, and do Let's Plays with like the fucking camcorder. You have your second generation, which is your jump scare guys, your screamers. Third generation, which morphed into like, oh, uh, Vine Saw, Super Best Friends Play, Game Grumps, more of that edited down content. Uh, and then fourth phase, which is Minecraft YouTubers and the big like Minecraft YouTube renaissance on uh, the fourth phase or fourth, fourth generation. Now you're, we're in the fifth generation, I think. I just don't like sticking to one gimmick. Um, unfortunately, the system likes it when you stick to one gimmick. And that's where you find success. Uh, but that's my fault. That's not the system's fault. I should have adhered to the system instead of doing whatever the fuck I wanted. It's like the Avatar cycle. It's like a it's like a generation. It's a, You think of it as a generational thing. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't take this seriously. This is all just in like the... The goofiness of it all, but realistically, you can see kind of how trends change and how kind of like gaming content has evolved over the years and where we are now. Which I don't, I don't think necessarily that's a bad thing. Um, I just am interested in the ways that tastes change and the way that the taste makers change. Then you have anomalies like Dark Side Phil. Dark Side Phil's not an anomaly. He's part of first gen. Darkside Phil is part of first gen. That motherfucker was one of the people recording Let's Plays on a camcorder. Like, he's first gen. But Renan, I think people like you have the more loyal audience. Trends have shown that current popular streamers will just be forgotten in like three years. Well, yeah, but like, think of it this way. Do you want a small, loyal audience who likes you, or do you want money? <laughs> I don't think I don't I don't I don't think what I do in like a, a negative way, right? I don't mean that it's like a to be a Debbie Downer about like my audience or me, right? I do, I'm just talking about this matter of factedly. I'm I'm speaking of this uh, the the way that it be, right? I.e., um, the the new generation. It's not a bad thing. It's just a lot of them are gonna get their bag and leave. I I hope that with the amount of money that like new gen streamers are making off of ads and sponsorships and um subs I hope a the power doesn't go to their head cuz when you when you are that when you're younger when you're in your like early 20s and you get magically big um a lot of bad things can happen with uh un unmitigated amounts of money and we've seen that with with other generations of streamers and other generations of like gaming and creators is uh, that much power that quickly 
and go to your fucking head um, in really negative ways. So I hope, A, I hope the new generation of streamers stay sane and safe. Oh, B, uh, that they use the money that they have to do neat and cool things. When you get magically big, Brendan, that's puberty. Grow up. Get over yourself. Grow up. I don't know why I used that. I didn't have to. Uh, I hope that anybody with the, like, newfound wealth at their fingertips, I hope that they they do neat, cool things with that money. That is what I always hope. Whenever there is a new generation, I said the same thing back in 2020 when the Minecraft generation popped up, as I said, I hope with the, with the funny money that you get, I hope you do fucking awesome and cool things. I hope you make, make neat little things. Do your passion projects. Be a creature. Get creative. Get weird. Because I think, what would I want to do in that position if, if I was that age again is I would want to get weird with it. And that's all that I can, like, think of. It's like, I, God, I hope this new generation of streamers just gets weird with it. Definitely see the new gen streamers audience devouring them if they left it. Like, Queso's chat calling him fat 24-7, but he takes it like a champ. Yeah, I mean, Queso's a really neat, uh, really, really neat experience where I know from personal experience how bad the brain worms can be. Uh, and I, I hope that he uses that fame, uh, towards positive weird projects. That's it. That's that's generally how I feel whenever there is a new crap of streamers. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna choke. I'm gonna choke. I'm gonna choke. I lived. Um, whenever I whenever I see new streamers, there's a new trend or something. There's a new crop of people that kind of like pop up out of nowhere online. Is like I hope you do weird and cool things. And that's yeah, because you can either do one of two things: is you can seethe and mauled in jealousy that that position isn't your position. Which, like, me five years ago, maybe I would be in that that mindset because that's how awful the brain worms get. Or you could be like, listen, I hope these guys do neat little cool things and I hope they get to... They, they use the resources that they have at their fingertips now to do neat things with it. Just weird creative passion projects. Uh, get weird. Do weird shit. Because, like, I feel like it's an enviable position, of course, uh, but also at the end of the day, like, I, I just kind of want more weird new experiences online, and if that can, if, if any of the guys that get big can get big and then do that, that's sick. You know, it's like, uh, it's like how Jerma does, uh, like, the, the big weird fucking streams, or was doing, like, these big weird fucking streams and doing all this uh, incredible back-end work. Uh, to make sure that, like, his audience could get some of the weirdest shit online. Like, I, I hope and pray that success, uh, just begets success for others. Oh, you're a big streamer? Well, is your mod pointing out fat asses on forklifts? Listen, we had to, we had to deal with you posting fat ass forklifts, and I'm like, oh god. Really happy to see what some of the Minecrafters have gotten to after they blew up, like Rambo, Quackity, Tommy. It's neat to watch those creators grow. Yeah, because that's that's how growth should be. It should be healthy, and you shouldn't be chasing after the infinite highs of having a larger and larger audience. Instead, you should chase after uh, doing creative and weird shit. You want people to you want people to, 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 to grow and change it better themselves, and when you have access to that many resources, that's what you should use those resources for. Nobody uses it. You're a bot. Nobody uses the Nolan Chance skin. Nobody out there being Nolan Chance. Nobody out there being Nolan. Nobody's using that skin. Probably know. There are a couple people around here that probably know. Ooh. 
When will you learn, Brendel? When will you learn that your actions have consequences, Brendel? Yeah, I'm probably gonna get sniped from 500 meters away. It's fine, though. I think they're pushing the medallion. Oop, we're getting sniped at. Don't shoot me. I will freak out at you. I... I don't like car skins because I feel like the it's harder to get headshots out of the car. Oh shit, person there. I'm dead. Yep, there it is. Thought so. That's fine. They put me in with the early morning gamers. Can't handle it, babe. Can't handle it. Oh, my brain. Oh. One of these days I'll wake up and actually get a shot off. It's going to be insane. Worst gamer at Fortnite. I'm fine with this. Uh, hey. Rise and shine. Yeah, I got those rise and shine gamers hitting up the Xbox right before they run off to school. Me and my friend started memeing Nolan Chance when he came out. Yeah, because he's a, it's a, it's, he's a, he's a fucking dork. He's a dork core skin. We all know this. We all know this to be true. He's a fucking, he's a nerd, dude. something. Somebody's looking at my face. Why you do this? I'm doing bird. Uh, wh what was behind everything is poison? Is that a reference or a Brendan original? That's a reference to all the food is poison. It's a Tim and Eric reference. All the food is poison. All the food is poison. Sure, we'll do snooty steps. Where that even at? Uh, oh, over here. Fine. Is Tim and Eric, you got eight seasons of garbage to watch. <sighs> napple, 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 napple. All the food is poison. All the food is poison. Oh my god, everybody landing at Snooty. Why is everybody landing at Snooty Steps? Is there a hireable here that people want? There's probably an NPC people want, huh? Peter Griffin! Ah, oh, in memoriam. In memoriam, Peter Griffin. In memoriam. Grenade! Like popping grenades, huh? Motherfuckers well, really do that. They run the Aphrodite skin and they pop a billion grenades at me. I'm gonna die though. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. Not on my watch, Buster. Where are they? Are they upstairs? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, they got to be upstairs. Oh, Oh, well, thank you for thank the $25. You. Things have been going really well in my life recently, and your streams, videos, and other content like PST have played a pretty big role in that. Just wanted to thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I can buy Pizza Hut breadsticks with that. It's going to be awesome. Take it away to me. <laughs> Is this called Patreon only, but also for Twitch subs? It's it's Twitch subs and Patreon. Although Patreon's gonna get shut down inevitably. I have to get access back to it. I haven't had access to the Patreon for like six months. Um and I just haven't worried about it really. And now I'm like, I gotta I gotta get back access to it and I gotta turn it off. It's fine. I'll get it taken care of. Now I'll get the cheesy bread. Now I'm going to get those Pizza Hut breadsticks. They're going to be disgusting. I lost access to it last year because of like a weird thing with my bank. And then the stuff with my sister happened. And then I had my I had like a death in the family. And I've just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. It's just a whole thing. When did you install voice stuff? I've always had text-to-speech donations. I just don't get donations. So I'm <laughs> I've always had them. I just don't get donations. I don't ask for them. I don't, I don't worry about it. It's just an option there. I don't, I don't worry about it because I can usually pay... I can pay rent with subs and bits and, and a little bit of ad. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you for helping my gamer lifestyle be even more gamer. Thank you, Twitch, for giving me the funny check mark so I can eat as much fucking Pizza Hut breadstick as I want. Should I stop my sub on there? Are you not actually getting the Patreon money? No, it stays. It's it's like a pool, basically. Um, I just I, I just don't have access to it. It's it's basically sitting in limbo, and I'm gonna turn it off whenever I get access to it back. I've just been so um empty-headed the last like six to eight months. I don't think about it until somebody reminds me it exists, and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta take care of that, and then I put it off. It's like a coping mechanism. No, I keep meaning to turn it off, and then I forget, and then it's like, oh shit, I gotta go turn that off, and then I forget. Uh, mostly negligence and ignorance and stupidity. It, it will be fine. I will give access to it back. I'm just dumb. Plus, I don't really do enough with it anyway, and I feel bad. I try to do some stuff with it, but at the end of the day, like, I haven't made, I haven't really focused on mainline video content for the main channel since October. Uh, and the new Mountain Dew review is out, and I'm script writing. I just, it's, uh, it's too much fucking brain mess. I've never been good at managing the Patreon in a way that I found sufficient and a way that people like, so I, I don't even know why I have it anymore. So that's been like my, I gotta go in and turn it off. Is that anime Rick skin? Yeah, it's me, Rick from Rick and Morty. Let me do my little Rick and Morty dance. I'm really, uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely incredibly himbo core. Very, very bad at all of this internet, internet business stuff. Never been good at it. One of these days, maybe, it's gonna be epic. I'm gonna point at the screen and be like, You! You're breathtaking! People are gonna clap and shit their pants and scream and fart. You! I'm not, I'm not gonna look, uh, don't look at the road, look at me. You're breathtaking! How do we join the Discord if we're subbed? If you're subbed, you should be able to just link your Twitch and Discord and it lets you in. I don't know how it works, I just set it up. I'm surprised I could even set that up properly. 
Patreon is a main source of income, but it is a bitch to figure out how you like incentivize people. Yeah, I'm just I don't I don't know if I, I make such weird random shit that I'm like, I don't know what people want. So I never know what to do with it. And then I set goals and then I forget about the Patreon for like six months and I'm like, oh my fucking god, so I'm really bad at managing it, so I just need to shut it off again. I know how that is, my ADHD seriously screws with my perception of time, so things will think I'll get done in a week, I think about again weeks later. Yeah. I'm trying to be better about managing my time in a more healthy, appropriate way, and I've gotten a little bit better about it. I just have to keep on working at it, maintaining my brain. Would you follow through if somebody paid for the highest tier? Yeah, probably. I mean, that's enough money to, like, fly out there and read them Pride and Preju Prejudice for a little bit, right? Yeah, I wish I could brain focus. Uh, if I was better at brain focus, though, I don't know if I'd be me, so... I, it, it was every night? I mean, nobody was gonna do it, it was a joke. And then if somebody did do it, it'd be like, uh, take your money back, dude, huh? I can't do this shit. Yeah, it says every night. I mean, yeah, they, they, the joke was that if somebody paid $100,000 a month in Patreon, yeah, I'd read them Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, I'd have a sugar daddy. I... <laughs> the sugar daddy tier? You telling me for $100,000 a night you wouldn't read somebody Pride and Prejudice every night? Like, come on. Just happy to do what I can, when I can. I appreciate it. Um, I... Uh, uh, like, there are way more valuable people out there to spend your money on. And I'm thankful that there are enough people that give a shit about me that I can, you know, live. It's nice. The concept of being alive is pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> Big fan of it. Oh, fire. Does this hurt? It doesn't. Okay. Okay. I was expecting fire damage. There was no fire damage. Game bad. Read Dune, but do the whale voice for the Baron. Oh, my pizza. My slices. My Dune. Oh. Honestly, no. I always appreciate the support. I am, I am, my gas is always flabbered that enough people give a shit about me and my stupid bullshit. Um, to want to invest in it, so... It's nice. See the new Adam, Adam Sandler movie that was all about being present and appreciating what you have? Oh, where he's in space and eating a big sandwich. Hey, Brendan, do you have a separate job besides this in PST? I mean, PST I don't get paid for. That's just fun. Um, streaming and content creation is like my job. I had uh, I worked retail for seven years, and I realized after seven years of fucking uh, dealing with awful people... Uh, about two, three years ago, I finally quit retail, and I was like, you know what? As long as I can make rent, I'm going to keep doing what I do until I can't make rent, and then I'll go work a warehouse job or something. And I can make rent, so that's all that really matters to me. Now, would it, like anybody else, would I, would I like more? Would I love more? Absolutely. But I can make rent, so not a big deal, yeah. Um... Things that uh, are, like, awesome that support me, subs, bits, gifts, all that stuff keeps me alive. Uh, but also, like, just, like, ah, oh, Brandon, I don't have money. That's fine. Like, if you watch a second channel video and comment on it, that helps uh, as much in my heart. I never want to be like, you should sub. You have to gift. You have to give bits. Because that's a horrible attitude to have when you make funny jokes and poo-poo sillies and live off the generosity of others. Um... So I, I treat it with respect. I appreciate the hell out of it. I'm always like, hey, engage with the content. And if you don't want to engage with the content, that's also cool. I'm not going to make a, make a big stinky deal out of it. Where the fuck did they go? That person's going to come out of nowhere and then fucking own me. I'm, I'm, I'm a little afraid. I'm a little scared. I'm a little full of fear. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get fucking popped 500 miles away, huh? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Yeah, pretty much. I, I There was a video I saw where somebody was being like, you guys can't even sub? And, and I'm just like, this happens every year is some like Twitch streamer is like, you guys can't even sub? What the fuck? It's only $5. And I'm like, that's such a shitty attitude to have when you live off of the generosity of others. 
be appreciative, be thankful, and I am appreciative, and I am thankful. Otherwise, what would I do? I'd pick up a box and I'd put down a box. Who even shot me? Where was that from? They, like, stop fighting each other to take one shot at me? What the fuck? This is weird. Yeah, I will never understand Twitch Twitch streamers who get it in their head that like they're 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 so valuable that like the audience that keeps them alive is not worth it. It's very odd to me. Go on. Damn it, Gohan! You be hitting me with that crazy frenzy again. What percentage does Twitch take when somebody sends you money anyway? It's like a 30, I think. 30 to 50, depending on what it is. Dep depending on who you are, I think it's 30 or 50. They take 50 for me, but like I said, I don't worry about it. You get some emotes, you help out the stream, not a big deal. Oh, I think they misfired at you? I mean, yeah, I misfire every time I click the gun, so, like, I get it. Let's get Brendan to Partner Plus. I don't worry about it. Have you considered moving your streams to YouTube? No. Not really. I, I, don't, I don't think YouTube's a bad place, but I don't like the, um... I think it's easier to be found on YouTube, but I'm fine with throwing VODs and highlight videos over on there. Um... I don't like the way that YouTube's interface works, and that's literally it. I like Twitch's interface. Um, building an audience on Twitch is hell in a ba handbasket. It's fucking awful, but, like, I, I YouTube's not really the place for me anymore. I I do stuff there. I'm still going to make stuff there. I still want to make stuff there and then do stuff, but also, like, the... Uh, I, uh, YouTube is such a shithole. It's such a fucking shithole. It's a cesspit and a shithole, and I fucking hate it. I have so much, uh, just repressed, uh, like, fucking slime regarding YouTube and their fucking dog shit awful site. Hate them. I use them when I have to. I use them if I want to make some more structured content, but I fucking hate YouTube. Dog shit fucking company that has no idea what they're doing. It's all magic and gum. You pull back the curtain and it's all magic and gum. Yeah, I mean, when I when I found out that I was getting the sub bug um, last year, the year before, and, like, it was a real thing that was happening, uh, I, I, I set in stone in my mind, I fucking hate this site, and I will only use it when I have to. The, the second I realized that YouTube was unsubscribing friends directly from my channel was the moment where I was like, this site fucking blows. Hate using this shit. Um, not from, like, a money aspect, just from, like, a, damn, I fucking hate using this shit because, like... How are people that are going to want to watch my stuff actually going to be able to watch my stuff if YouTube literally unsubscribes them? And finding out that it unsubbed three of my friends that watch every video I make to support me and like to watch the stuff that I make uh, made me go, wow, this shit is hell. I fucking hate this site. And like, I just generally, genuinely hate that site. It's random bullshit, random magic. It's, it's a dog shit hell site, and I fucking hate it. It is a machine that hates, so I hate the machine. YouTube the kind of site where it's like, oh, the algorithm on YouTube is actually pretty awesome. And it's like, no, it recommends the same five videos to everybody all the time. And then... Their new thing where they recommend, like, a video under, like, 500 views is, like, a random... Here's a random VOD from a VTuber that stopped streaming eight years ago. I... Oops. Oh, no, I almost clicked the report button. Oop. 
YouTube said that wasn't a real thing that happened, so yeah, no. I thought it wasn't a real thing that happened. I mean, I totally understand it if it's like a hey, you fell off kind of thing. It's it's more so like the, I upload any video on the main channel, I lose three to 500 subscribers, and then I get like at least five messages saying, hey, YouTube unsubscribed me from you, and I'm like, what the, 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 the why? And that's such an insane thing. That's an insane thing to be like, hey, um, why haven't you uploaded in a while? I've been uploading. What? Oh. Why did it unsubscribe me? Did you do that? No. Oh, hey, yeah. Why don't you make stuff anymore? I make stuff. YouTube doesn't tell me that you make stuff. It's crazy. Oh, I'm just unsubscribed. Oh. Why? Who knows? Only God, apparently. It's a, it's a, it's a fucking horrible hell site. And, like, I will make stuff. I will want to make stuff on there. And every once in a while, YouTube will be like, here, a tuppence for you. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much, kind sir. Thank you, kind sir, for the tuppence. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you for the half penny, sir. I appreciate it greatly. Oh, YouTube, what a nice little site. But no, if you if you're not already established, uh, best time to start was ten years ago. Second best time to start is now, I guess. But also, I remember news a couple months ago. They fixed that shit. Nope. It's all slime and the, the the horror. Like it's all just it's all just slime and scum. Can't do anything about it. Never heard the word tuppence until today. A tuppence for you. Here, a tuppence is a, a pence for you. Here, four pence for you. Four mic pence for you. Here, a Zeus for you. Here are pence for you. Here are tuppence for you. And I just want to say thank you for helping me through some shit. Inadvertently through your silliness. Please keep up the great work as long as it's healthy for you. I mean, yeah. Y'all get, get in the Discord VC and say to compliment me and say nice things about me? This is bullshit. I'm... <laughs> I, 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 I despise the machine and I wish the machine wasn't the way that it is, but, you know, it'll be that way. I'm still working towards the uh, renaissance. I'm still trying to have a good brain. Uh, good brain, good health, good whatever. And I'm in a much better place than I was uh, a year ago, but... Some days, dude, some days, it's, it do be like that. Do be like a hell. I don't know. I feel like I talk about this so much that like I don't I don't have anything else to say on it. It just like a you just gotta keep uh working and do it thing. Uh -huh. fuck. That's why I like doing second channel stuff, because I can just plug away heartily at a little video and then pop it out and be like, hell yeah, another video. Put out another one, see what happens. That's why I like streaming too, is I can just do things and say things. Just do things, say thing. Maybe thing be funny. Maybe thing be epic. Maybe thing be cool. Machine only wants the juice. I mean, I'm sucked dry. If the machine only wants the juice, I am empty of juice. I have no more goo to give. It took all the goo away. All the goo gone. I'm just a dry boy now. They took all the goo out of my body and they left me a dry husk. This is so sad. Give me the goo back now. And over your slime and your pancreas. Oh, they're mine now. Where's bubble bo bubble bo bo bubble bo 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 where's bubble bo bo bubble bo Fridays? God, you're right. Where is bubble bo 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 Fridays?
What is that? The fucking is that the stranger thing alien? What the fuck? What is that thing? Is that ET? Holy shit! Oh, like, I'm like fucking scared out here. Jesus. I got like so fucking whiplashed by I, I didn't know what the fuck that was that scared me. I was trying to decide what the hell that was. That was the Demogorgon from Stranger Thing. Fear maxing the Demogorgon until I Jelk Max? Ban Ban reference? Yeah, hand over your pancreas. Ban Ban be like, mm, we check out Sting of Foyen with his cool car. You could drive with here. Looks more like a xenomorph. That's because I think its face was closed. But that was definitely the, uh, the funny demogorgon. The funny gorgon. Ah, oh, funny gorgon moment. Ah, oh, I am Archer, leader of the Gorgonites. Me when I small, me when I soldier. Stinger Flussy? Stop that immediately. Stinger Flynn has no holes with which to procreate. Stinger Flynn is smooth. Stinger Flynn has no holes. Stop it, stop it. Stop paying a 3D modeler right now to put a butthole on Stinger Flynn. You stop that right now or you're gonna get banned, banned. Putting you in the fucking silly box. You're getting banned, banned, bozo. Oh, look at all this chicken. Oh. Brendussy? Don't say Brendussy. Come on. Come on. You can do better than that. Come on. You do better than I believe in you. Brendussy, that's basic. Come up with something new. Exciting. Wonderful. Build a new world with your words. I just watched the Choo Choo Charles VOD yesterday. That thing's old. That was from like, like what, like a year or two ago. Choo Choo Chowo. Choo Choo Chowo. Oh. I love getting um all the mascot horror bees out of my fucking head. I don't have to ever play a mascot horror video game again, and I won't until I think it's funny to do so. Feels good. Feels real good. Like I said, playing FNAF definitely gave me a, a new new respect for Markiplier that I definitely didn't have before. How the fuck do you play any of those video games and stay sane? More will come, they will, and inevitably I will play them, but for now the brainworms are conquered. There are always more mascot horror games, Brendan. I know, I don't, I don't worry about that. Not gonna play them unless I feel like I wanna. The Markiplier grind is real. I'm just, uh, you know, there's a there's a part of me that's like really weirdly appreciative that uh, if if the Witch's Curse was real, that Mark was the one to play all of the FNAF games, and I didn't end up in that time slot. Because um, I I don't I think I'd probably be in like a silly little room covering the walls of my feces if I had to play all the FNAF games and like beat them. You mentioned doing the mascot horror thing on PSD, so I wanted to check the VODs. Yeah, I, I mean, like I, like I said, I like exploring new niches. I do. Um, when something is foreign and weird to me, my first thought isn't be scared or be disgusted or be like, Ew, this fucking sucks. Because uh, I think that's a natural human instinct to look at something that's a little different. And to immediately, like, write it off as bad. Or to look at something that, like, the kids are into and to immediately write it off as bad. I think that's a negative way to look at things. I think you should at least give something a chance to see what the, um the interest is, and then if you think it's bad, uh, at least try to experience what it is first. Because if you, if you look at something and you don't go in with an open mind, um, you're immediately going to hate it anyway. And I think that's something to keep in mind as I've gotten older, is that um, there's always going to be something new and shiny and you might as well see what the toy, what the hubbub, what the fuss is all about. Rather than just to go into it with like the, oh man, this sucks, this poopy. Is there going to be a new PST day? I don't know. I don't keep up with the schedule. I'm not going to lie. Uh, is it a, is it a press start, uh, flurbo or is it like a, like a pondering? 
I've been on I've been on so many episodes of PST. Oh my god, ew. But on so many episodes of PST lately, my brain is fucking burnt out. Because I was on the funny pondering episode, and then I was on one of the Press Start Turbos, and then I did Perilous like months ago, of course. New Press Start Turbo 30 minutes ago. Oh, was that the Yaksa one? I was out of it. I was super fucking brain dead on that one. Was there? There was a new one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I like being on Press Start, but mostly for the second half, because I don't really have a lot to say about gaming news, but I love talking about video games, so. How many months ago were the new Perilous recorded? I think the last episode was recorded in August or September, and then it's just been like a ride to hell. I've had a lot of prep time uh, between that session and uh, whenever we record the new session. Um, tabletop is really hard to schedule. That's just it. Brendan, how do you think Bam Bam is affecting the game industry? Do you think it's shitty production? It will inspire more low effort games that rely on be beaten tropes in order to pull in players? No. I don't think Bam Bam's influence is that large. I think it was a flash in the pan and people are still playing it and people are making like video essays about it, but... I uh, genuinely, 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 I don't think Ban Ban will have any, um, I don't think Ban, ba I don't think anything that Ban Ban has done will ever have lasting consequences because there will always be slop and there will always be asset flips and there always were and there always will be. I don't think Ban Ban gaining any amount of popularity or notoriety will, will help or hinder that in any way, in any meaningful way. I think they will keep making Ban Ban video games until the sales numbers dip to the point where it's like, oh, this is no longer profitable to put the time and effort into it, so we will stop. And I think it will always be that way. Um, whenever you look at something that may be akin to like an asset flip or, or lower effort um, like Ban Ban, it's mostly a case of this is popular because it inhibited, it did something weird in the mascot genre space. And outside of that genre, I don't think anybody's going to take anything away from Ban Ban except for haha -ha, Stinger Flynn car ride choo choo chowels. I don't get the whole Ban Ban craze. Well, the Ban Ban craze is over. Like I don't, I don't think there's anything else. Were you trying to make Rick with your loadout, or is it an accident? No, this is one of the Save the World skins. Um, this is like the new Save the World skin, and I liked how it looked, so I was like, fuck it. I wanted the back bling and I wanted the, uh, uh, the how it looked. He's just a silly robot guy. I like that. When I see a silly robot guy, I'm like, you know what? Fine. I'll get the silly robot guy. You get V-Bucks with it, so why not? We live in a society. I live in a society. We live in a society. Oh, that's why people are landing here. There's a vault here. Okay. Interesting. Hey, Brennan, are you doing better than yesterday? Yeah, I took a, an allergy pill and my brain is working a little bit better. Throat is still a little bit itchy and scratchy, like the simpin. Um, but it, it, this too shall pass, uh, either today or tomorrow. I wanted to play Fortnite regardless, so I'm a little ill still. I got a little bit of thickness with the sickness, so... The mascot genre is so completely alien, I have no idea how it functions. It's not that hard, it's just... As somebody who's played them, you look at it- I look at it this way. Freddy Fastbear is pizzeria, and then when he pizza, he pizzas. Um, no. Fre Five Nights at Freddy's was something new and interesting and weird, and then... It got to the point where FNAF games were, uh... Not, like, stopped completely releasing, but they kind of, like, slowed down on releasing FNAF games. So, new video games tried to take that spot. You had Baldi's Basics. You, you had these games that were kind of just dog ass that were being made to fill that genre and that void. Um, and then, like, Ban Ban and Poppy come out of that, like, void where FNAF wasn't releasing anything. There were new, no new, like, FNAF things other than, like, fan video games and lore videos. And that's it.
I mean, mascot genre is simply boiled down to they're putting the kids into creatures. Here's the lore about them putting the kids into creatures. That's it. That's the whole bit. They're putting the kids into creatures. You really don't need to know anything else. Uh, they just... Ban Ban and Poppy and FNAF. I think Ban Ban is the one that's not really they're putting the kids into creatures. Which is weird because it's in terms of like dev quality. It's probably the lowest effort one. I'm not saying that it's zero effort. Like uh, it's still work. Um, but it's between games. It's very reminiscent of how the first like what is it four FNAFs all came out within like a couple of months of each other. If that's so, does Gundam qualify as mascot? No, mascot horror is very specific. It's, it's, they're putting the kids into creatures and there's some overarching under, like, developed lore that is far more expanded by the people that engage in the content than the actual content itself. It's, uh, it's, it's still a little nebulous. Brendan, you just described Evangelion. Snow halation. That's not Evangelion. I just thought of snow halation for some reason. Sorry. Worms. Can't wait for the Willy Wonka experience mascot horror. You know, I am surprised there's not like a cheap itch.io video game. Or like a free itch.io video game that's like the Willy Wonka experience. Scary. Um, I think like mascot horror and, and kind of like, I guess, a lot of the horror genre in terms of like the horror video games were kind of in like past the renaissance. I feel like we're in the almost this is all overexposed era. Um, but like, I feel like content creators are going to see that far before... Uh, the people who consume the content, so. It's gonna go for a little bit longer. Already a Roblox game? Well, yeah. I mean, Roblox video game. Just throw it in there. Just toss it in there, see what happens. If you could create a new mascot horror game, what would it be and how would it break from the mold? I think the most interesting thing to do is to do mascot horror like Resident Evil. Love. Friendly Neighborhood, I think, was the best attempt at making a mascot horror video game that wasn't like reflex learning or dog shit puzzles. And it definitely probably did the most interesting thing that you could do with mascot horror, which is turn it into Resident Evil. But if, if I had the choice, I, w I would do it in the much more... um. I guess longer format and a more interesting format. Which is to say, I don't like a lot of the weapons in Friendly Neighborhood, and I just don't like a lot of the, like, uh, the ways they use puppets. I feel like right off the bat, the way the puppets are used in that game are not really... They're not really frightening, I guess. Dead. And that's fine. I don't think that was 100% the vibe, but also, like, the way that the puppets are overly scary in the way that, like, they, like, grab you and talk, where it's like, I'm gonna fucking, I, I, I don't like the way that skin feels on my skin. I'm gonna take your skin and eat your skin, and then I'm gonna take your skin and fucking rip it off, and then eat your, eat your fucking head, and then I'm gonna bite your brain off, and then it's like, yeah, the way I get it. What if Ernie from the Sesame Street decided that he was going to bite my nose off and then spit it back into my face? Like, I, I get it. Uh, but also, uh, there are a myriad of different ways that you could do it. I just... Uh, more game. I feel like advancing the, the gameplay mechanics versus advancing the stupid fucking lore is much more important to the entire genre.
Actually, I'm going to take a little breaky. I'll be back in like a minute or two. I'm going to take a little Brendan breaky. Uh, give me like two minutes. I will return post haste, I promise. A little Brendan breaky. Ooh. I'm watching chat. I'm just, I'm just taking a moment. This is like a moment of zen. I'm keeping my eyes on you. I just needed a moment. All right. Um, back into the slop pits. The bucket is calling for me and I need to, I need, I need that slime. Ooh, no. Um, I feel like banana peely. I like the, I like the funny anime shonen protagonist peely. Can you put some family guy clips on for us? Uh. I'm not going to put family eye clips on. I'm going to get in so much trouble. You got to go to what? The artifact tab or people still streaming entire television shows on the artifact tab. Are those AI Spongebob episodes still going? I mean, maybe. Who knows? Only God knows. I'd be surprised. Is anybody still watching those? Because, like, they're, they all they all end up the same, right? They don't really do anything interesting. They were a fun little gimmick at first, but uh, then when the, what is it, the Seinfeld AI guys said, like, they want, like, your favorite show infinitely, I was like, ew, that sucks. No. They're still going. God bless anybody who watches that shit. God bless. Genuinely, God bless anybody who watches that slime still. Like, fucking ooh. Oh, no, I mean the artifact streams? Oh, fair. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end, yeah. I just don't like the, the nev uh, ever marching forwards to infinite content that doesn't mean anything. Right? Because it's... Uh, like, Seinfeld states that it's a show about nothing, but, like, not really. 
That's just the the show's like sentiment is that it's trying to be a show about nothing when it is most certainly not. And then taking that and making it like, yeah, this is a show about nothing that is infinitely generated by a by a funny machine that basically is like, uh, just uh, putting together random strings of shit that almost make sense. And it's like, dude, I. Uh, I don't like any form of quote-unquote content without a human touch. It was the definition of slop content, yeah. I mean, it's just as bad as, like, the videos, short-form videos that recap a movie for, like, a minute. Somebody shoot over here? What? Hey, I Bryn Daniel. Yeah, I would um I would absolutely go thermonuclear. I would go thermonuclear. I would destroy myself. I would my essence would be uh ripped away from me. I uh never want that. I hope that guy was a bot. Probably was. But me and with the people who do the bad aim, I have bad aim today. AI can't replicate me because it doesn't have the right processes to be able to string the words together that I string together in the ways that I do. But, I mean, at the end of the day, people will just be like, oh, voice, uh, like, like the voice, uh, I was walking down the street and I was eating a big fucking sandwich and crying and shitting and farting when suddenly I saw somebody on the street. They slipped on a banana peel, so I went to help them up and then I realized that they were somebody that I didn't like and then I threw them back on the ground and said, ha ha. That's like, oh god. Wasn't there some garbage Brendan AI bot? No. Because uh, everybody knows that if you if you genuinely enjoy the things that I do, um, making an AI bot or using an AI bot of me goes against everything that I enjoy. Um, and you are not a you are not a true Brent Faniel. Um, I think if you make an AI bot of me, you're a piece of shit. That's not, you know what? It's me. So like, yeah, if you make an AI bot of me without my consent or permission, you're a piece of shit. That's it. Now, anybody else, whatever. Like, that's their decision, right? If somebody wants an AI bot of themselves made, awesome. But if you make an AI bot of me, you're a piece of shit. Well, it's down to that. That's, like, easy, easy thoughts on the matter is I, I'm like, you're a piece of shit. It's that, e it's that simple to me, honestly. I think I could probably be more nuanced about it. I could probably be better about it. I could probably pick better words. Um, but it boils down to, I don't like AI content, so... I don't want my shit to be used for it in any way. Didn't you say you like Endless Seinfeld, but eventually it felt like you were staring into the void? I liked it until the... I, I thought it was funny and, and whimsical until I read an interview by the creators who talked about the infinite content cycle. That was my, like, oh, I hate this. No. That was, like, the moment of, of sentience. Like, when you're a baby and you realize you have a brain, I was like, oh. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> Already hard enough to compete against people that are funnier than me. Now I gotta compete against robots that just pump out slop. I'm like, God, I can't do this. It's too much. So now I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have to compete against people that are funnier than me and also compete against like robots who just churn this shit out endlessly. Like, I don't, I don't have that much, I don't have that much brand formation. I don't have that much. Oh.
We're all AI actively trying to keep Brendan from realizing he's in a simulation? Nah, not true. Nobody'd waste that many resources on my simulation. Nobody'd give enough of a shit to figure out how to make the texture of the biscuit from my breakfast sandwiches taste so good. Ain't no way nobody's spending the dev resources on that to see the way my brain handle this shit. Ain't no way, Buster. I don't believe in the simulation theory. I don't think we're that important. I think a lot of theories that revolve around that definitely put a, a, a larger place in the self-importance of uh, individual human life. And I'm like, yeah, I, I don't think so. I don't think I'm special. I don't think I'm the one. I don't think I'm a chosen one. Uh, I think I'm a guy that uh, does poo-poo stinky stuff, trying to brighten other people's days by doing poo-poo stinky stuff. I'm bad at Fortnite, so you can be good at Fortnite and be like, damn, at least I'm not Brendan. <laughs> uh, my place in the world. Break the walls down, bot. What we'll there be fishing in for at night? Nobody be fishing but me. And if somebody kills me, they're rude as hell. If you kill me while I'm fishing in Fortnite, you're rude as hell. I'm just fishing. I'm looking for guppies. Slimy. I don't have to be the chosen one to be special or important. No, I just don't like anything that places um too much importance. I don't like any theories or vibes that place too much importance on one single individual. Brendan, have you really not have been, one sec, Brendan, have you really uh, not have yet and been near also yes, have you? Has anyone really been as far even as decided want to go do look more like? I've been as far and decided as anybody else in this world. Have you ever been as far even as decided want to go do look more like? Because I think I look more like even as decided want to go too far as. Uh, once again, I pause the question. Has anybody ever been as far even as decided want to go do look more like? I don't know. I think I've been go do look more like more than anybody else. And I've been decided to do go look more like than anybody else as well. Has anybody ever been decided as want to go do look more like? I don't know. Have you? Have we? Have we as a society? Has anyone really been as far even as decided want to go do look more like? I don't know. I don't think I can answer that. Brennan's just making noises. No, that's an old meme. Old copy pasta. Has anyone really been as far even as decided want to go do look more like? God, I'm old. Ancient even. When that reference, when nobody even gets that reference, I'm like, oh god. Thank you for healing me. That's awesome. Gotcha. Oh, almost popped you. Really, we're doing this. You really want to do this? You know you're not going to win. You're bad at shoots, so... I'm also bad at shoots, so... Gotcha. Sorry. You, if you had pushed me, you could have won that. I don't know why they didn't push. No idea why they had- yeah, no, they had all the tools that they needed to push. No idea why they didn't push. I don't know why they wanted to make that so hard. Uh, they, they literally had everything they needed to kill me. They had the whole tool set. Everything they needed to be able to kill me was right there. They could have just killed me. To be fair, I am also bad at shoots sometimes, so... I am I am not immune to panicking and then just, like, throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks. 
They, they had the gun and the gear, they just needed the resolve. Listen, they, dying in Fortnite is not a big deal. You die in Fortnite, you go to the next game, you get a little bit better. Don't worry too much about it. All you gotta do is shoot the guy, and then if you can't shoot the guy, if the other guy shoot better, that's whatever. It's not a problem. Sometimes the other guys shoot better, sometimes they don't. You just don't worry too much about it. Even had a good weapon for it, like, jeesh. Why did the door open weird? where this person is. Oh, they're under. Ah, see? Steely resolved. They were hiding in the hole. They out frenzy shotgun me. Incredible. They used a frenzy shotgun. Uh, I'm going to go get caffeine. I'll be back. I didn't get caffeine on my break, so I'm going to go get caffeine. I'll be back. They're sliming and nobody sliming but me. Big sippy. Yeah, I got the Bartle of Mountain Dew. Pretty good. Bartle of Mountain Dew. Pretty good. It's got the zero right there. Check that out. Take a little look. See at that. Wow. Look how green that is. Bartle of Mountain Dew. Pretty good. I love drinking the slime. Big slime head over here. Thanks. Shout out to PepsiCo. I love drinking the slime. I love your slime. That allergy pill I took like an hour and a half ago? It's fucking me up now. My brain is scrambled. I am... Uh, uh, yeah, I love the slime. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good slime. You ever have, you ever have slime? Pretty good. This right here. I'd kill a man for this. I'd rip a man asunder for this. I'd throw a man into the unending ceaseless void for this. I, yeah, this slime right here, pretty good, not gonna lie. That's good slime. Right there. That's the good stuff, it's nice and green. It's just, what you, it's just what you crave. You need it. Drink it. Prove you're human. Sure. That's a good drink. Mmm, yummy. I love the aroma of flavor. I, mm, what good slime this is. I kid. I gotta drink my verification bottle. True. Xbox, show me Thundergat 2014. What? 
Alexa, play slime. Okay, Google, play slime for me. Alexa, please order 500 pack realistic latex human anus uh, for research purposes only in parentheses. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Brandon, you triggered my Alexa. Alexa, give me a fart. Alexa, order Tide Pods. Sir. Okay, Alexa, give me a fart. Okay, Google, give me a fart. I have what they call a master key voice, which means that I will set off anybody's Alexa. It doesn't matter. can't watch the stream with speakers because if somebody the second that somebody t you can't ever tell me that too because now that i know that somebody else has their alexa enabled i'm just going to utilize that to the uh, highest amount of evil power oh god oh god oh why did i Ooh. pain because i'm home alone and it's only me and the dog I don't know why I thought, like, I you said it was you and the dog, and I thought, do dog noises, Brendan, and in my head I was like, and it's like, oh, that's right, when I, th when I see a dog, I don't actually see a dog, I see a small naked man. That's how I imagine every dog, a little gremlin on a leash. I have dog aphasia. I don't see dog. <laughs> he looked up. <laughs> uh, if you want your dog's attention, you just gotta be like. Percolating in the machine, post-haste. I live inside of your Keurig. Every time you get a cup of coffee, you're boiling me alive. You left the room? Yeah, my mom also tried to do that, but I was currently being born, so... I was born and my mom was like, that's my baby? No, thank you. Put him back, he ain't done cooking. I mean, to be fair, when I was born, I was born premature. I was not done cooking. They had to put me in a little baby tube for a while. I was in the baby tube. I am a miracle of life. Uh, the miracle of life was given to me. Uh, and I've I've not squandered it or wasted it. I uh, utilize the miracle of life to its fullest extent. Like, watch this. See? I, I'm utilizing the miracle of life uh, to the fullest extent that it is able to be used. Cause who else will do this? Ooh. Ooh. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody's ever done that in the history of the world two times. What about three times? Can we... Ooh. See? Nobody's done that. They had me in the baby tube, yeah. They put me in the funny baby tube and they said, Cook this boy. And then I cooked. And it came out medium rare. No, I came out pretty, pretty rare, I'm not gonna lie. I came out of the baby. I came out of the baby hole into the baby tube, and I was like, I was, I was not done cooking. They had to cook me a little bit longer. What keybinds do you have right now? I have a stream deck, so I can just. Is 
See? You say you're not special. You think you're special. You do. Yeah, my mom pulled the rare baby Engram. She was like, this is so fucking cool. I'm a rare, yeah, I'm a Funko Che, I'm a, I'm a Chase Funko Pop. The original Funko Pop was a Markiplier Funko, and I'm the Chase figure. <laughs> Horrible day for me to find out that I was, I'm just a, a, at the end of the day, all I am is a Markiplier Funko Pop go, gone horribly awry. Instead of saying, hello everybody, I say goodbye everybody. Hey guy, hi. Jonesy. Jonesy and Jonesy and Jonesy too. And fish stick and Jonesy and Jonesy too. Sandwich and pizza and hamburger. I gotta get that fucking Hamburger, cheeseburger, hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Lie in the morning. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Lie in the morning. Ham, 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 hamburger. Cheese, 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 cheeseburger. Big Mac, Big Mac Whopper. Lie in the morning. I need that shit out of my fucking head. I need a, I need a lobotomy. I need a lobotomy at Claire's. They're just gonna take a little chunk of brain out, make me normal again. Hamburger cheeseburger Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger Big Mac Whopper. Lie in the morning. Ham 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 hamburger. Cheese 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 cheeseburger. Ham 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 hamburger. Or lie in the morning. Ham, 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 hamburger, cheese, 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 cheeseburger, ham, 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 hamburger, or lie in the morning. Passing a kidney stone at Claire's. Yo, just got back from Claire's. Pretty crazy. They do a lobotomy now. They took a little bit of my brain out. They put it in this jar so I can keep it forever. Yo, just got back from Claire's. Really excited to share it with y'all. Give me an anal piercing. Everybody was screaming. It was a horrible fucking day. They don't even do that. That was an eclairs. Oh, shit. Yo, went to the eclairs. Fucking awesome. They did the lobotomy over the phone. Good morning, USA. I've got a hamburger cheeseburger Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger Big Mac Whopper. Her lie in the morning. Hey, 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 hamburger, hey, 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 cheeseburger, hey, 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 hamburger, or lie in the morning. Every day with this shit, it never ends. The ride is never the end, 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 is never the end. You got a big sandwich in here. No? What I would do for a sandwich right about now. A oh, little bit of gabagoo, a little bit of pepperon. Give me one of them fat slappers, boss. Please. There it is. There it is. Yo, I just got circumcised at Claire's. They let me keep the foreskin. They put a zipper on that son of a bitch so I can put it back on whenever I want. I mean, to be fair, they, uh, like, the shit that they do at Claire's, they should not be able to do. The amount of shit that they can do at Claire's is actually insane to me. Like, can you believe they could just take your nipples off and make them smooth? They just, they have a whole procedure for that. And they're not medically trained to do that. You can walk into any Claire's and they will take your nipples off and just make them smooth. It's not even a surgery or anything. They got, like, a mage in there. They have, like, a mages that could just... Smooth your nipples. Fucked up. Claire's be all kinds of insane. Brennan, if I spend the rest of the day singing this, I'm suing you. 
Hamburger cheeseburger Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger Big Mac Whopper. Lie in the morning. Hey, 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 hamburger. Hey, 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 cheeseburger. Hey, 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 hamburger. Or lie in the morning. Sorry. If you spend all day singing this, uh, it's not my fault, actually. Uh, you shouldn't have fallen for it. My ultimate ruse. Get your nose removed at Claire's. Yeah, they have that in their jingle. They literally say that. It's fucking insane. Went to Claire's. They smoothed out my entire body. I don't have any openings anymore. They smoothed out the whole body. They cremated my grandma at Claire's. God, that place really is the jack of all trades, huh? Master of none. Yeah, they cremated my grandma at Claire's. Kind of fucked up, but they, like, left her whole arm in there. So, like, we have the urn, but we can't close it because, like... Her whole arm is in there, and they said no refunds. They, uh... I don't know what the deal is, but they just refuse to, like, finish it. Uh, it's just, it's just like that. Horrible fucking day, Claire's today. They refuse to cremate the whole grandma. Rounded me out like SpongeBob. Uh, me when I'm normal. They rounded me out. They smoothed me. I'm normal. Hi, how are you? I'm normal. The poor minimum wage teenagers that work at Claire's. Okay, and you're sure the you're 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 sure you're sure this machine works? Yeah, I mean we've only used it once, and the last guy got sucked up. So um. You said you wanted to be bald? Yeah, I want to be bald, and then I want you to tattoo the hair onto my head permanently and forever. Are, are you sure? Um, we don't like using this machine. You may not live through the process. It's fine. It'll be funny. It's a good bit. I'm like, it's fine. It'll be funny. People will laugh. Bald me. Smooth and round me. Now. Uh, are you sure you want us to rip out your entire limbic system here at Claire's? Yeah, absolutely. Like, if I'm going to get my entire limbic... Is that Groot? From Groot? I I'm thinking if I get my entire limbic system ripped out, like, what better place to have it happen than at Claire's, right? Bald Brendan was a good bit. And I got hair. So, he grew back. Sorry. I didn't like the way I looked. The, the, the balding... Genuinely, I think, was the start of me, like, talking to Shelby about being healthier. Um, and on the diet, I think I'm down to like 267 down from 283 now, which is good. It's good. I'm losing weight. Um, got to just keep it up and keep getting healthier and keep on, keep it on. So wear a bald cap. I think I have one somewhere, but I don't want to dig it up. So we're going to, it's going to be awesome and epic. We're in a, we're in a brief period before the Renaissance truly begins. I feel we're getting there. Everybody's just as bad at me at the video game. Awesome. You should smooth your skull now. Is it smooth? I'm trying to make it smooth. How do I smooth it? Is it smooth yet? More? I'm trying to smooth it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to smooth it around my skull. I'm trying to... I'm gonna have an aneurysm if I keep doing that. That's gonna pop a blood vessel in my brain. Smooth! Now! I don't have to smooth. I just have to mew. I just, I just have to put the put the tongue in the. <sighs> ah. 
That hurts. Ow. Why do people do that? You're just gonna pop your jaw. You're just gonna pop your jaw blowing out of place, dude. Like, why do people do that? Brendan, if I keep doing this, I'll hurt myself. Also, Brendan does the thing immediately again. I, I had to, well, peer review, I have to double check. You gotta double check, dude. Me, when I smell the smelly smell. <laughs> Something that <laughs> smells smelly. Come on, where am I? Oh, shit. Where the... Where the, where the, where the, where the, where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? I see him. Damn, son of a bitch. Fuck him, man. Eh. Better shot than me. Remember when Brendan was sleepy and I jokingly said he could slap himself awake and he actually hurt himself doing it? I think Brendan has poor impulse control. Poor impulse control? What do you mean? I don't, I don't, what do you mean poor? I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. No idea what you're talking about. Oh, sorry. No idea. No idea what you mean. No clue. Show cat? No, she's sleepy. I let her be. She's sleepy. I am muted. I was saying Zeus. I was saying watch me Zeus right in after I killed that Zeus. Thank you for telling me. I, <laughs> I was sitting there and I was just like fucking watch me Zeus right in. And then I was muted. Heartbreaking. Didn't even get to hear my epic joke. Let John clear. That John Wick, I'm fucking dead. It's just scary. Real guy. Reloading. Bye bye, John Wick. Never mind. 
guy's running away. Coward. Don't pick your fights. Pick every fight. Motherfuckers really do be like, I gotta get away, I gotta get away. Pick every fight, dude. Just fight every fight. Hi. Spider-Man. Why would you do this, Spider-Man? Why would you do that, Spider-Man? Spider-Man, why would you do that? Why would you keep getting into the car, Spider-Man? I'm just- I'm just wondering, Spider-Man, why would you keep getting in the car? Like, at that point, just don't get in the- stay out of the car! Run away or something. I don't know, be a coward, be a baby. Run away or something. Be afraid, be very afraid! Why get back in the car? Stay out of the car! They're gonna get you! You go into the car, I'm gonna get you! Passenger side, driver's side, the rear passenger side, I don't care. You go into the back seat, you go into the fucking trunk, I don't give a shit. You go in the car, I'm gonna get you. Stay out of the car. Well, sure, you won't get car out of the car. You won't get far out of the car, but like, you could leave the car. Get out of the car. Try to run away, try to fight or something. You can't fight while you're driving the car. It's not a smart maneuver. You gotta be thinking of something better. Pull yourself up. Buy your pants, pull yourself up by your poop straps. That's what the boomers are always saying. Pull yourself up right by your poop straps. Get out of the car, stay in the car, pick a fucking lane, buster. Love the car, live the car, think about the car. Oh, not all the way in fencing fields, vile. Fine, I guess I'll die then. I'll go to the car, get out of the car. Pull yourself up by your poop straps. See what happened. Go to the car, get out of the car. Live the car, love the car, life the car. What is that? You reload you reloaded the common after dropping a full one and then replaced it with a green? Yeah. These are strats. My stratagems, I'm thinking. Sorry, you just don't get it. I'm thinking big thoughts. So, grow up, maybe. Think better thoughts, bozo. I'm thinking big thoughts, you see. Huge, massive thoughts. You should think big thoughts like me, huh? Oh, dog shit. Whatever. The biggest piece of dog shit. These aren't high-level strats? No, I took an allergy pill like an hour and a half ago, and like, let me tell you, like two hours ago, and I'm just kind of like riding the wave until I'm sleepy enough to go to sleep. And then inevitably I'll be able to sleep, and I'm gonna honk shoe and meme me up my way all the way into the... into the future. You shooting at me, dude? Please stop. Is that fucking... is that Leonardis? Bye bye, Leonardo. I love you, and Ninja Turtle. Cool turtle! Look at my crown, it's bigger than yours. I have one Crown Royale win. It's my only win of the season, but it's a win nonetheless. So come on. I have one Crown Royale win. It's a duo win. It's the only win I have this season, but like, I have it. So, you know, I have something. Oh, do they not have any? Oh, no, they have sniper ammo. I just didn't pick it up. Silly. I'm so silly. Who are the duo? Oh, it's just me and my friend Ten. We were we played a little bit of four tonight. We got we got the I got the umbrella, so I'm happy with this season. I think, uh, get rid of the hammer pump, get rid of the auto frenzy, or get rid of the hammer pump or get rid of the frenzy shotgun, one of the two, and I think the season will be a little bit better. Just have to pick one to get rid of. And then inevitably, things will be a little bit- wow, pretty cool.
just kind of hate the hammer or I hate the frenzy. Get rid of the frenzy to make the hammer pump a little bit better or get rid of the hammer pump because nobody wants to use it. So people would still rather use a white frenzy rather than a gold hammer pump. So Gotcha. Also, I'd much rather have, uh... I would much rather have a diverse loot pool than the weapon modifications, because I still think that the weapon modification system just sucks. I don't like it. I'd rather just have a diverse loot pool instead of the weapon modifications. It's cool, it's neat, it's like a new thing, but the benches are so sparse that, like... And they're even more sparse now. Um, to the point where it literally doesn't matter. You just... And, and almost nobody does it unless you're by one of the funny vaults that opens up. They're in bunkers now? Yeah, they made it- they actually found a way to make it worse. I don't know how or why, but they found a way to make the... Itchy. Oh, uh, they found a way to make that shit worse. Oh, speaking of bunker, I mean shit, look at that right there. Wish the workbenches were a consumable item or anything. They just don't open until late game, and it's like, at that point, why even have weapon modifications except that it's a system that you want to use? Well, when I die, because I go to the funny bunker, somebody's gonna get a really cool sniper rifle, so... Alright, run in. All I gotta do is add a scope. There we go. Don't even care about the chests. I don't want to deal with the, the funny bunker. Don't even want to think about the bunker. Oh, it's the person who's my bounty, also the medallion carrier. Oh, good. Is there two medallion carriers fighting over there? about it. Yeah, they're dead. Okay, so that's the fight that was happening over here. Gotcha. Damn, missing every shot. I'm really dog shit today. There we go. Jeez, Louise. He was a bot too. Oh, real nasty vibes. Can't hit shit. I got Aphrodite. That's at least something. The medallion, I feel, gives less of an edge than last season. Not really. I think it gives more of an edge depending on what one you go for. Um, it really just depends on what your what your build is and what you're going for in terms of, like, medallions. Because if you go for, like, Ares gives you the damage boost, you can get Zeus for the speed boost. Uh, instead of just getting a flat shield buff, they all do neat little interesting things. Gotcha. You get siphon with the Hades one. I mean, 
Siphon one's really nice, I'm not going to lie. I do like getting the Siphon. Hades, Hades is nice. Uh, Cerberus, the Gatekeeper one, is nice. So out of fucking ammo right now. Being stupid. Being dumb, being dumb, being dumb, being dumb, being dumb, being dumb. We both were freaking out. Me and this other person were definitely both freaking and geeking out. Thank you, Aphrodite. <laughs> no idea how that fight was going to go, except for I, we were both bad and had no idea what the fuck was happening. Love fights like that. Same skill level, I knew for sure, because we were both terrible. Oh, Meowsel's just chilling. Cool guy. One of the dog is back, say some wise words. I think those were pretty wise words, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty fucking strong words. You could tell that strength was emanating from it. I'm dead. Yep, there it is. All right. That's fine. I am so fucking brain dead right now. Running straight be spitting. That's fine. I'm, I'm brain dead. I'm going to go lay to feed the cats and lay down. So thank you for coming to the short little extra stream today. Uh, hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better tomorrow. I still got a little bit of the sickness within me. Uh, so hopefully I can exercise some of those demons and uh, get back into gaming fucking cool mode. Uh, we'll see. But before I leave, I'm going to shill real quick. Create a code Brendaniel. If you buy anything in the Epic Games Store, helps me out a ton. If you don't use the Epic Games Store, don't worry about it. Always videos over on Brendaniel 2. There will be a new one going up at 11 a.m. Central Time today. Hope you all have a good rest of your morning, noon, or night. And I'll try to go and get some rest so I can feel better for tomorrow. Bye.